A very common problem in mathematics is to determine the sign of an expression involving a variable and how the sign of the expression varies with x. Let's consider a very simple example, the expression x minus 5. The goal is to determine the sign of this expression for different values of x. This is quite straightforward. We can start by noting that x minus 5 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 5. Since x minus 5 will increase with x, we also see that x minus 5 is positive when x is greater than 5. And we see that x minus 5 is negative when x is less than 5. A sign diagram for the expression x minus 5 will then look as follows. We have the real line with 0 here. We put the expression under the real line to the left like this. Then we identify all the points on the real line when the expression takes the value 0. In this case, it is only the number 5. We do a line and we put a 0 here. Then we put minus signs here since the expression takes a negative value when x is less than 5. Finally, we put plus signs here as the expression is positive when x is greater than 5. This is a sign diagram for the expression x minus 5. Let's look at a somewhat more complicated expression such as x squared minus 5x. Creating a sign diagram is now more of a challenge. A very useful procedure for creating sign diagrams is then the following. We begin by factoring our expression. Remember, factoring means that we write our expression as a product of smaller expressions, and we want to factor as much as possible. In our example, we can use the distributive law to factor this expression. I can take out an x, that leaves me with an x from the x square, and it leaves me with a minus 5 from the minus 5x. Now I have a factored expression which cannot be factored further. In the second step, I make a sign diagram for each of these factors. In this example, I would begin by doing a sign diagram for my first factor x. The factor x is 0 when x is 0, obviously, and I have the following sign diagram for x. The sign diagram for x minus 5 looks like this. In the final step, we use the sign rules to create a sign diagram for the product. When x is in this area, I know that the first factor x is negative. I know that my second factor x minus 5 is negative. And I also know that the product of two negative numbers is positive. The product of these two factors must be positive here. Then we get to x is equal to 0. Now one of the factors is 0 and that will make the product equal to 0. Next we come to the numbers between 0 and 5. In this case, the first expression x is positive, while the second expression x minus 5 is negative. The product of a positive number and a negative number is negative, so the expression is negative in this region. When we reach 5, the second expression is 0 and the product is 0 as well. Finally, we get to this region when x is greater than 5. Now I have a product of two positive numbers which will be positive. And the sign diagram is complete. From the sign diagram we can see that, for example, the expression x times x minus 5 is negative when x is between 0 and 5.